So they can't special, they can't use spells, they can't attack, they can't use another spell, and Baron negates anything just in case. New format, new ban list, same best deck. Let's go! In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the correct way to play Draco Slayers. And no one is playing Draco Slayers the correct way. So if you like pendulums and you like Draco Slayers, and if you have a, a literal big bicep, you don't even gotta like pendulums. We're in the same boat. You go to the gym, you play pendulums by default. So watch this video. Even if you play TCG and not Master Duel, watch it anyways, because you're gonna grow big lots. I can't even, look at this. I can't even fit through. Shit, what the fuck? Fuck you, lion. I don't need a lion. When you play pendulums, you don't need paintings, because you're gonna paint victory all over your opponents. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the correct way to play Draco Slayers, where there's gonna be a card that no one plays that you need to know that you don't play. No Draco Slayer player plays this. And with the new format and the way it's shaped up, this is just the way to go. So let's get straight into this video. Let's go. There's one card that no one plays in Draco Slayers that is the glue of the whole deck. So if you don't play it, you need to watch this video to know what it is and to play it. And before we get into this video, big news, guys. We're almost sold out of the Pendulum deck boxes. There's only 15 left of the red one and maybe 14 or 13 left of the purple one. So make sure to go check it out down in the description below. It's probably going to be on for a few more days before they're sold out. And we're gonna get even more products so make sure to go check it out i got these special for you guys i knew you love it one is beyond the pendulum one is magicians but with that being said let's get straight into this video this is gonna be draco slayers full guide let's go first things first we're gonna be showing you guys the combo tutorial and that's right you need to play bishios it's not a choice it's mandatory i don't even care about my opponent's grave you need to banish your own cards so you're going to use the effect of revolution dragon here not to search no luster baby pendulum we're gonna search chaos emperor the dragon of deadlift 500 pounds we're going to use this card because it brings the whole deck together so we're going to use bishop sword here to banish our own revolution dragon and then we're going to use chaos emperor to add revolution dragon back the fact that no one plays this is ridiculous this card brings this whole deck together and without chaos emperor this is not a deck this is a garbage deck draco slayers suck ass without chaos emperor the dragon of armageddon of deadlift 500 pounds so you're going to search revolution dragon why is this so good because Revolution Dragon is not once per turn. So we could use Revolution Dragon again and search whatever we want. Now look, we don't even have face off in our hand. We don't even have, we have three face off. We don't, we don't even have one. We don't need one, but it'll be nice to see one. Face off makes this deck very nice because now you have even more extenders and your extra deck will always be full and it'll be any scale you want as well. It's very nice. Next, we're going to use the effect of Luster and then we're going to get Ignis and we're going to trigger that to special Majesty Pegasus. Not only is this deck so powerful, because of Vicio's banishing it to Revolution Dragon again. But look at how good this synergy is. Because these are specifically level six, specifically, you can now listen to me. You're going second. You could summon the, Bish the new Synchro 10 Vicio card, and you could use that to get rid of an opponent's card at any moment. And then use Sky Iris to search Revolution Dragon. And because it's a Dragon Synchro, you could use Revolution Dragon's effect to special summon again from the graveyard, use its effect again. Oh, baby, we're good. That's right. And special again. So, but instead, because we're going first, we're going to go Baron to Floor. And Sornia is going to send Lubellion. Lubellion is a huge part of this deck. So Baron to Floor is now out on the field, protected, because Magic Spike has become the tuner by Ignis' effect. And we have Lubellion on the field. Well, guess what? We're going to special that Chaos Emperor. I told you, this is the glue of this whole deck. You guys haven't been doing this before. What were you guys doing? So now we're going to use Lubellion to tribute that Chaos Emperor and trigger Lubellion's effect. So now we get a free, we already hard drew Branded Beast, and so now you get Branded Regain for free. And then we're going to normal summon our Ignis, because we have not normal summoned yet. And then we're going to put those into Beyond the Pendulum. We're going to save our Sky Iris for later. We're going to scale this, and we're going to Pendulum Summon 3. Protect it from Nibiru. If they want Nibiru, Beyond the Pendulum adds, and get Baron to Floor, I don't care. It doesn't matter. The idea is that your Pendulum Summon does not get nibiru So if you could Pendulum Summon, you win. And we still have Iris, Regain, and Branded Beast. So good luck to them. Next, we're going to use this to search to get Dynamite. Then we're going to uh, make Ignister. We're going to go Pisty. You're going to use Ignister to go Triple Burst. We're going to make Pisty bring out Ignis Ignister. That's right. Pisty can bring back the Ignister. So we are playing a Dragon Link deck, except it actually, it's actually good. I'm like Dragon Link. <laughs> so then we're going to use the effect again of Ignister because it's not once per turn. And then we're going to put Dynamite and Ignis into Dynastir. Ignis will trigger, adding us Majesty Pegasus. Then we're going to go Sky Iris to pop the scale to search another Revolution Dragon. We could summon back another Ignister if we wanted to, but there's no point because we already won the duel automatically. Instead, we're going to use Revolution Dragon here 
to search a morphage leckery. Why are you searching a morphage leckery, Mr. Trip Gaming, Mr. Handsome, Mr. Damn, my beard looks nice. I'll tell you why. Because we're going to scale the leckery and we're going to make Hope Harbinger Dragon. We're going to set the branded beast and we're going to say, go ahead, good sir, pass. And then right away, on drop A's, they have a response. No, I like to cry. Go cry in the corner. We're going to use seal to balance our own card back. Special slot. Effective leckery. You cannot use spell effects. So effective slot, you cannot special summon. It's not even main phase. You have no chance to activate a spell card. Oh, would you like the book of move before I put up the slot? You can't. Leckery's on the field, loser. You can't do anything. Oh, guess what? Oh, oh my god. W what if... What if they just summon a monster and attack the sloth, right? Oh my god. What if they summon a monster and attack the sloth, right? Why don't they do that? Well, whole harbinger effect, you cannot attack. You have to attack my 3000 attack booty. With big booty comes great responsibility. Wise man once said. And we're going to win the game. Why? Because there's nothing our opponent can do. Nothing. There's nothing. Even lean the gate. You got Brian and Beast 2 and regain. It doesn't matter. It's the best deck. And our follow-up is insane. So they can't special, they can't use spells, they can't attack, they can't use another spell before Sloth comes out in the field because of Harbinger. And Baron negates anything just in case. Can't it's a lock! You can't do anything, and it's extremely consistent. And we have all this extra plus for nothing. They're going to stunt our opponent. Now I'm gonna show you guys a deck list. This is the deck list! All three face off. Oh my god, oh baby. And I know you guys are thinking. Triff, you drew you searched a thousand times. This deck's the best deck in the planet. I know that's what you're thinking. I know. And it is. Droll hurts it. You're gonna think that, right? We don't play any spells. We don't play any spells. Sure, you could draw me. It will affect me, but you're still getting hit with seal, whole harbinger, hand traps. We play three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eleven, fourteen hand traps. Bro, and we're siding to twenty-three. Ha! <laughs> yeah, half the deck is hand traps. That's right. You're allowed to play 46, a little over 40, because you're playing uh, extra cards. And I know the Bistials aren't always considered hand traps, but they could be. And they're extenders to make me on the pendulum, so they're very, very helpful. And this deck is just absolutely bananas. And going first, it's even crazier, because you actually end on a Solemn Judgment. So going first, you actually search Gilding Ariadne with the Beyond the Pendulum, and you pop the Ariadne with Ignister, ending on Solemn Judgment, plus Lechery and Sloth. Scoop! Now! While you have a chance! While I let you leave with some honor and dignity. Scoop, which is also low dignity to scoop. What kind of loser does that? This is the deck. Best deck. That's about it. If you guys love the video, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out both deck boxes. They get big biceps. I don't make the rules. Listen, look at that lat right here. Woo! That's right, baby. Go check out the description down below. Get your stuff. Thank you guys for coming to the video. See you guys next video. Peace.